Say hey guys. Hey guys. Say welcome. Welcome. To our family show. To my family show. To your family. This is your family. Say this is my family. <laughs> <laughs> this is my family show. <laughs> I don't know why your boys got all hot like that. Uh, Peekaboo. Peek now when I open up, you're gonna say peekaboo, okay? Okay. Peekaboo. Peek you gotta look. Peekaboo, I see you. Peekaboo. Peek Do this. This is an awesome day because we know who created this day, who holds this day. We may not know what today holds, but we know who holds today. Don't skip it, Ellie. Don't skip it. Are you ready for your nap? No, ma'am. It's time for nap nap. I eat my boob. Well, go eat your boob. <laughs> She always got to eat her booed. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, uh -uh. Mama. Close my door, please. Bye-bye, Mama. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye, Mama. Bye-bye. What do you do when life doesn't make sense? When life knocks you down when things and situations, circumstances, trials, tribulations, whatever you want to call them, knocks you down and then it keeps knocking you down. What do you do? That's the question I keep asking myself over and over again. And I've been on a mental search because I know, I know the answers, but sometimes when I'm in the midst of the situation, circumstances, trials, tribulations, whatever you want to call them, I have a tendency to forget. Don't lose hope. I have to remind myself I am not hopeless. The situations that we find ourselves in is never really hopeless. It's not a hopeless situation. It feels that way because of our emotions or the smoke screens that are being created and our minds are letting us, or having us think that life or what you're going through is a hopeless situation. But it's not, it's not. I broke my heart. You broke your heart? Yes, ma'am. Something mommy never wants to hear you say. Your heart is broken? Yes, ma'am. i put it back on. Are you ready to take a nap? No, ma'am. You gotta take a nap, Ellie. No, ma'am. You gotta. You got to, got to, got to do it. I got to eat my food. What happened? My heart's broken. Your heart is broken? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> you broke it, though. It's right here. I see it. Just take it off for now. We have to get Daddy to fix it again. <sighs> Okay? Okay. It seems like every time I tell her it's time to take a nap, she has to tell me she has to go eat. She doesn't just sit down and eat a meal. She's a nibbler. She just nibbles, and then she has to run around, burn it off, and then come back for more, and run around and burn it off, and come back for more. Even when we're all at the dinner table. It's like, Ellie, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. So, thanks to Tia. Ellie's Tia, she has a mat. A mat where she can do all her flips and twirls and everything like that. She can flip on it anytime she wants. I guess she can do things in safety. She can be safe while she's doing her flips and everything like that. Last time she was very adventurous, she broke a foot because she jumped off the bunk bed. And so now she has a mat.
You can do it. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Good job. Love it. Down. Down. Oh, you got to land on your feet. <laughs> you got to land on your feet, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ellie. It's time to take a nap. Are you ready to take a nap? You're not drinking that entire juice. I'm not waiting that long. All right, we're gonna take her down. We're taking her down for a nap. One of the things I like to do to de-stress when I have the opportunity and I can is I like to paint. I don't paint all the time because I don't always have the opportunity to paint because of time and the kids, but I, if you look at the house, all the paintings that's in the house, I actually paint it personally and because I just I really do like painting I want it to personalize a little bit of the house with the children um, because when you look over at the, all the photos that I have done because Yana was the firstborn I have taken more photos of her <laughs> and so I was like well let me get the other two let me do something personalized for them because um, I don't really shoot as often as I should. Mm. Okay, let him dry, okay? okay. Sit, sit. Uh. So I wanted to do, I wanted to make them a little, um, do a little portrait Ellie. of them. So no. I started with Ellie. Ellie. That is Ellie. I did this picture of her when we got in this house. These buddies. When I started to draw it, it I realized, because I was trying to get the ponytail, and I couldn't get the ponytail. This right here is completely, like, wrong. I can't figure out how to fix it. I went over it, like, three times, and I had to take a break from it because I was just messing, <laughs> messing it up. But now that his hair is cut, I'm thinking maybe I should just make this a head full of curls, like his hairstyle now, since you can't really see the ponytail element of this um and then of course i'm going to do the, the same thing so the idea of it is that they would kind of kind of line up together but i made his face a little bit too far away from the edge and so i had to get another eyeball in there but that's how i wanted it to kind of line up on the wall kind of like that but Yana seen it and she was like, where's my picture? <laughs> you can't do two of them and I do the third one. So I said, okay, I was going to um, do her one. I'm so out of practice when it comes to drawing. Like I have really, I have not really dug into painting and drawing since 2012. I think that's the last time I actually did some serious drawing and stuff. This is another way how I um, relax and just focus on positive things because I think my kids, there's something positive that's in my life. And um, these little caption, <laughs> these little moments in time of what they look like, it's really special to me. Mama, why are you drawing it? Hmm? Why are you drawing? I'm drawing. 
Yeah, she's sleeping. Is she? Okay. So the other day I was discussing with you guys about what do you do when you feel like your situation is hopeless. And I didn't finish and cover it because I was interrupted so many times by Ellie, but I want to leave you with some things that I feel like is helping me. Um, first, think positive. What do you know to be true? God is good. That doesn't change because our circumstances change. God remains to be good and God works all things out for your good. So no matter what the situation looks like, think about the goodness of God. The next thing is have faith. Having faith is trusting in God's purpose, his will, his plan. His plan might not always feel right, but our thoughts are not his thoughts. Our ways are not like his ways. He is far beyond where we are in our knowledge and understanding. So we have to trust the one who created us. We have to trust his plan for our lives and believe that what he's doing will work out for our good. Having faith and trusting God's plan, God's purpose. We don't know all what God's purpose is for our lives, but we have to have faith and trust that it will work out for our good. Back to number one, what do we believe is true? God is good. The last one, never lose hope. Regardless of how the circumstances or the situation can feel hopeless, it's not hopeless. Our hope is in the Lord. You have to fix your mind on things that are eternal, not on the things that are temporary. Your situation is temporary. In Psalms, in the Psalms prayer, yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. So I'm walking through the valley. He is with me and we're getting through it. That means it's not gonna remain this way all the time. It's a moment. You're walking through this dark valley for a moment. That's how life seems to work. You either just came out of the valley, you're about to go into the valley, or you're currently inside a valley. Whatever you find yourself in today, I'm hoping that my words encourage you, because it has for me. Thank you again for tuning in to this channel. <laughs> um, when God gives me something, I have to share it with someone else. And that someone else sometimes happened to be you. So be blessed, be encouraged, Remember what is true, God is good, and he always works things out for our good. Be blessed, we love you, and see you guys in the next video. Bye. God is so good. God